Hello everyone, welcome back to Perfect Choice Nurseries YouTube channel. My name is Paula and if you guys are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. For today's video, I want to follow my sister Melody around. If you guys aren't familiar with my sister Melody, I'm gonna introduce her in a little bit. But she is very, very, very into Hoyas. Hoyas are her new passion. She's the one that takes care of all of the Hoyas here at the private farm with her girls. So if you guys are into Hoyas or just starting off with Hoyas, this is the perfect video for you. I want to show you guys her Hoya collection, the Hoyas that are available for wholesale, if we could find any Hoyas that are in bloom. I know a lot of people always request Hoya content, but I never feel comfortable doing it myself. That's definitely more of my sister thing. But she's also a very busy woman. I admire everything she does and I try not to bother her, but let's go bother her. <laughs> All right, let's go find Melody and see what she's up to. Hi guys, this is Melody. I'm Paula's sister and I am Edgar's daughter. <laughs> and Amy's daughter too. <laughs> I'm one fourth of Airway Greenhouses. Well, my duties here at the greenhouses, I specialize in the Hoyas. I'm still learning every single day. I cut them, I prop them, I sell them, I divide them, I do everything. And I have two wonderful ladies that help me out. Everything that happens with Hoyas comes through me, so it's exciting. So always when Paula does videos, I never, ever want to do it. It's always like whenever, like. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like so now she spices me up a little bit and like I get into it, but always to do it, it's, it takes a lot for me. It takes a lot of energy, but I know with Paula, she's working really hard so I can do this for her, so. Thank you. I'm just pulling an order, but I will show you what else I think about when I'm in here. So I could tell you just one moment, please. Usually around this time, I'm gonna be putting orders together. So somebody's here, somebody plans to order ahead of time and they had a visit. So I was asked to pull some stuff for them that they wanted and that's what I'm doing now. This happens sometimes, especially if we have like, if we have people visiting the greenhouse, people want certain things to add it to their invoice. So I usually pull that stuff. Right now we have everything in order. So it's not that bad to get stuff. It's good because everything's in one place and it's, it doesn't take up too much time going from one house to the other. I don't usually pull it when it's like this. I always like to make sure that there's new growth on everything that I pull. So usually they come out like this after propagating and cutting and they have roots right now, but I always like to send them more like this because this means that the growth is going well, the roots are working and everything like that. As a Hoya lover myself, whenever I go shopping for Hoyas, I always like to see new growth because that's what everybody looks for. How I want to buy them, that's how I try to send them out. What I do too is that in the second house and I have another house too where I propagate all my Hoyas inside the greenhouse. I don't propagate anything outside. The freedom to do as much as I can and not really worry about like it getting a lot of rainfall or not having enough humidity outside. And I propagate towards the back of the greenhouse, which I get the afternoon sun and which makes them sometimes root four weeks to six weeks, depending on the season. And the winter time it takes like at least two months pretty much i have like the last few tables are for propagating and then i have a section over there that i've gotten from overseas boys that i don't cut for a long time because i let them grow out be wild do their thing and then i also wait for them to bloom once i visited gardino's nursery in i forgot where they are but they're in florida like an hour away she told me that she doesn't cut any of her hoyas until she sees the bloom it made me think like that's so true like why not see the bloom yourself and then be able to propagate so when i see the flower i just cut everything and then i'm just able to do it so all the blooms that i get that are new for me i put them on my instagram and i see how people are responding to it and if i get a really good response that makes me want to propagate as much as i can and also cut enough so i can supply it to a lot of people so follow my melody on instagram yeah over here i have um, all the things that i've gotten from overseas that i'm waiting for the bloom so all this here and this huge mess it's not a mess it's a beautiful disaster see there's a bloom right here so now we can cut this after seeing this bloom can you see the color right this is gonna hopefully something's gonna happen so this is the international 
This is the international stuff. Let's see, this is the one I posted this on my Instagram, and this is like one that's all ready to fall off. But this is the Campulata, and then this one's uh, gonna have another bloom here too. So also I have a process where everything that I put in hanging basket, this is my little secret. So there's some things that I put in three inch and there's some things I automatically put in a four inch basket. With the hanging basket, there's some things, especially it depends on how many notes it has. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm rambling. With the Hellas Kaliana yellow that I have here, I automatically put it like I think a couple cuttings in one pot. So it's not that it's drowned, like one, one cutting is drowning in a four inch pot. So there's multiple in here. I let this stay here for four or five weeks. If I can see the roots on the outside, that's great. But still, I wait for it to go a little bit longer and I want them to have more length. So what I do is I take this off from here, we put the hangers and then we start hanging them on the bottom. I like it because it's keeping it, I wanna say like maybe moist, it's cooler down there and it's it's really nice, but you still kind of get the heat sometimes with the sun coming down. But it's also great because it's a little bit of a transition. With my Hoyas, I'm constantly moving everything around. I think in the, at the end of the day, moving things around pretty often, it's like them, helping them get a little bit stronger so if I have them here hanging let them hang here for like two or three weeks and then I take them somewhere else to hang up higher and then that's when they can really just grow and do their thing and then receive less water because when they're in here on the table they're receiving good enough water and they're hanging down here they get a good good enough water but then I transfer them to another environment when their roots are really established and then they're able to dry out and not be damaged because they've been through a couple of transitions while still like growing, I guess. So it looks like Melody has to go back to work. I'm gonna show you a few Hoyas that we grow here at the greenhouse. We can have a closer look. We are leaving the greenhouse now. To stalk Melody some more, see what else she's up to. Let's go. I don't have space here. So now this is the process where I have to go drop off the Hoyas. Usually I'm the last one. Look at my hand. <laughs> you look like Zoolander. <laughs> did it, but I still got more to do. What I'm else gonna, do you have to do? Well, I have to put another order together, but it's for wholesale. So we're gonna go into the greenhouse and pull plants. Let's go. All right, what's the plan, Melody? So I have all, I have 360 Hoyas that I have to pull out. <laughs> I was only able to get a few out. It's because I gotta go feed my cat and I gotta go feed these guys too. It's been a long day. And I still have to finish the other order. Thank Paper. you for coming and hope you guys like everything and I can't wait to show you more. Yay! Bye. Come on guys, let's go.
Hello everyone, it is the next day. I am here with Melody and she's going to be answering some Hoya questions that you guys asked on Perfect Choice Nursery's Instagram. So I'm gonna pull those up and we're gonna ask away, so let's go. All right, so the first question is from Local Plant GF. It is how to make them bloom, mine never bloom. So Melody, what are your thoughts? So sometimes it's it depends on the Hoya, but sometimes it takes a while for them to bloom. Um, there's some in my collection that took like maybe over a year to bloom and everything. So it depends on like where you have it. They always say like if you stress them out a little bit, then they're able to bloom a little bit faster. Also, you can use like orchid fertilizer on it. And yeah, I mean, if anything, it sometimes it just takes time. Just let the, letting them grow out, do their thing. And then even if you see like a long strand just coming out, just like let it do its thing, hold on to something thing and then maybe that's gonna come out with the bloom but at the same time you don't want a lot of those little strands you want to make sure if you, you can trellis it also so you can get some leaves but yeah all right we have another question and it says when will more exotic Hoyas be available for sale I mean we're always um, restocking them online and then also too if you have like any suggestions let um, message Airway Greenhouses or Perfect Choice Nursery on, on their Instagram and then see if we have them we can always restock them. Alright next question what causes parts of Hoya stems to dry up and die when the rest of its is green and healthy? So sometimes that happens to me where I have like a really healthy Hoya on top and then right at the stem it's like rotting. I still don't know why that happens sometimes, but I think sometimes it depends. Like, I know that used to happen to some plants that when I repotted it, and then I guess maybe the transfer and it didn't really like it a lot. And, but what's really great is that Koyas are super like forgiving. And if you're able to catch it right on time, you can cut that top part and then propagate that too. So you can still always, you always have time to save the plant. I'm still trying to figure out like you why that happens. But sometimes I've noticed it's when I repot it or um, at one point it gets too much water and then it just sits there and then it just rots away but sometimes it can rot faster and sometimes it rots really slow so if you when you do catch it just always make sure to just cut the top part and then you can just propagate that all right the next question is what are your favorite hoyas so my favorite hoya is the hoya undulata i had this one bloom on me a couple months ago and i have it on my instagram <laughs> So um, if you want to check out that flower, it's incredible because this is this not only gives you like beautiful foliage, but the flower is also incredible too. So that's why I like it because it gives you the best of both worlds. Same person asked, which Hoya has the biggest leaves? So right now for me in my collection, it's the Hoya Clemensorum. This is an example of it, uh, but the other one I have in this picture here. And then that's the biggest leaf I have in my collection. I'm not sure, maybe it could be like a good like 12 inches. So. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Next question, what does new growth look like? New growth looks just like this. See how it's peeking out of the node? So when you have this going on, that's when you know it's a good sign. That you're, you have a healthy Hoya. All right, someone asked, watering tips. I have a carry eye that a leaf started to brown and it was probably over watering. Yes, you are correct. Um, also, you can tell with, especially with the Hoyas, when they have a thicker leaf, then that's where they hold a lot of the moisture. So with those, the thicker the leaf, like you know, you that's when you want to make sure you don't overwater because they have they hold a lot of the moisture in the leaves. All right, and the last question is perfect starter Hoya for beginners. So the perfect starter Hoya is this Hoya fungi. This is very strong. It grows really fast. It's really nice. The flower is really beautiful. Also, the obovata variegata is very easy to take care of too, which is similar to the carii, and then the Hoya compacta and anything that I have like long, it's like the Heliscaliana, those are really, really easy to take care of too, so I recommend. Holy cow, it is hot. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our Hoya video with my sister, Melody. And if you guys aren't following us yet on social media, make sure you're following us on Perfect Choice Nursery's Instagram account, Airway Greenhouse's Instagram account, Perfect Choice Nursery's TikTok account, and also Pinterest. So yes, thank you so much. Subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Oh my God, that's the first time I nailed the outro. Melody, really? I've never done that before. Okay, now walk a little bit closer to me. Right there, stop right there. Okay, make another face, like a ha. And now look at the Hoya, be like ha ha ha. Now look at me, ha ha ha. And anything else you wanna do? Yeah! <laughs>